Hi, uh, just an update today, uh, 46 days since the original occupation and uh, 25 days or 24 days since we reoccupied. Uh, we just had a day today, the first day, uh, day when the court case was heard for the occupied building site and we had five uh, defendants in there and the matter was heard and all five defendants got up and individually uh, spoke about the reasons why they occupied the building in the middle of the city that had been vacant for three and a half years. One of 150,000 buildings in Sydney that are vacant at the moment, while thousands of people, tens of thousands of people are still living homeless on the streets. The building they occupied had been vacant for three and a half years. And they got up and spoke about their, their infringement of the, the common laws of, the, of our city um, and the reasons why it's important for people to, to stand up and, and protest for their for what they believe in. And the judge recognised that. And in his statement, the judge said that the it was very unfortunate and it was a situation that shouldn't be that in a country such as Australia, homelessness is still such an issue. But he, he had a, a great uh, quote of his was that we had to respect the fact that there were different levels of equality in our society today, which I which caused some, some laughter in the, uh, the courtroom. Um, but all five people who were charged, there was only one person who received a $100 fine. Everybody else either had a conviction recorded or no convictions recorded for those who had a clean record. Um, and it was a very successful um, day in court where once again, the reasons behind Occupy were, were not only understood by those um, in the positions that they're in, but actually supported by those who are involved in the legal process. Um, and I think it's another statement, um, and it's important to reiterate the fact that with the ongoing occupation here in Martin Place, and with the ongoing actions around Occupy Sydney that are occurring every day, the working groups, the meetings, the rallies, the, the, the civil disobedience that is occurring on an ongoing basis, what we're fighting for is recognised here in society um, at all levels of government at all levels of the judicial system and it's important for us to continue to reoccupy, continue to occupy not just the streets but also the courtrooms because it is only through breaking a bad law that that bad law can be revisited and, uh, and we're all proud to be here, the people in court today were proud to be there and we're, we're hoping that through this ongoing occupation society will continue down this path towards a better world that we're all seeing here amongst ourselves. So the conversation continues, the dialogue continues, and uh, Occupy Sydney continues forever.